What's up guys and welcome to episode number two of the Grand Slam. Yes, this is a Project Cars series where I drive in all disciplines of cars trying to win in every single one of them. Uh, if you guys did enjoy episode one then uh, and if you do like the concept of the series then do make sure to leave a like straight off the bat. If, when we get to 120 likes I'll go and record episode three. Uh, so yeah, make sure to share it with your friends and what have you and uh, well, let's get into today's episode. So last time, of course, we made our debut and we drove the Formula Golf cars, finishing on the podium, uh, but it wasn't good enough for a win, unfortunately, and at the end of the episode, we picked out of the hat that we were going to be driving the prototype cars around Mount Panorama, which is, of course, Bathurst, one of the most difficult circuits on the game, so that is going to be incredibly interesting. I'm just going to stick with the one race today. If you guys could let me know down below in the comments your one mission for today is uh, to let me know down in the comments whether you'd like to see either one or two races per episode. Um, I'm not. I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive to make the videos quite long at the moment, so I'm going to just stick with one race. Uh, but if you guys do want me to do two races an episode, then do let me know down in the comments. And uh, before we do get into the racing, I'll let you know a couple of changes with the concept of the series. So I've decided to shorten the races down to five laps, just because I thought that ten laps was maybe a little bit too long, so... Uh, yeah, I've shortened it down to five, and I've also made a little bit of a change to the qualifying session. Obviously, you guys know last time that it took me about four attempts to put in a qualifying lap. That won't be able to happen this time. I'll be able to put in one flying lap, and that will be it. So uh, that's all I'm allowed in a qualifying session. It's going to make it incredibly interesting, especially for you guys, because I'm going to be raging, well, quite a lot, it's got to be said. But yeah, I'll stop blabbering on now, and we'll get into today's episode where we're going to get into qualifying for the second race of the series at Mount Panorama. Right then, guys, we're just about ready to get into today's episode, of course, with the revised qualifying and race setup. So, yeah, we're down to five laps, as you can see, and uh, we're only going to be able to put in one qualifying lap, so this is going to be full of rage, because I can see that we're going to fail so, so hard at Bathurst. It's actually going to hurt me, but anyway, uh, without further ado, I'll stop moaning and let's get in now to qualify. Right then, we're going out into the beautiful Australian sunshine here at Bathurst, and that was a compromise between a British and an Australian accent, so I do apologise profoundly for that. But uh, anyway, we're out onto the track now, of course, and uh, we're just going to try and put in a nice lap on the outlap, so we just, all we want to do is warm up our tyres and not bang it into the wall. Um, that's going to be easier said than done at this Bathurst track, so uh, yeah, wish me luck in this uphill section and hopefully I can come out alive on the other side. But uh, we're coming around the final corner now to uh, start a new lap, and we're getting hyped for this, and uh, hopefully we can just put in a half decent lap to get into the top 10 or top 5, and then with a beautiful little jump start at the start, which I'm sure will be happening, uh, who knows, we might be able to get another podium. Wish me luck. Get out the way, get out the way! Well, it's nice to see three of our tyres can be bothered to warm up on our flying lap. Anyway, we're coming towards the end of it now. It's been a pretty good lap, actually. We've overtaken a couple of cars. Uh, the AI difficulty I have left on 90%. I may change it for future episodes, but I'll keep it for this for the meantime. But uh, now we've come to the end of the Conrad Strait, of course. The main straight on this circuit, along with the Mountain Strait. But uh, just one corner to go now. Come on, just don't mess it up now. Come on. The concentration is unreal at this point. Right, can we do a good, can we get a good lap on the board? Let's see, 13th, are you mad? Oh, wow, I thought that was like amazing. Wow, I'm done, someone did a two minute dead. Wow, okay, that's impressive. Uh, let's see where we are, oh my God, we're not even, okay, we're 15th, wow. Um. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. We're just going to have to get on with it and go to the race. Hopefully, we could have a bit of a better race than qualifying. Uh, yeah, there's not really much else to say, is there, to be honest, apart from, well, wish me luck. Right then, this is it. Time for the race, and we didn't even jump stop. That car ahead, I'm pretty sure, did. Why are they all braking? I don't even know what went on there. There was some serious braking going on on a straight, which is not meant to happen. We, we made up two places. Uh, but that's not really good enough when we need a podium uh, or a win, that'd do. Um, but yeah, we're, we're up into P13 and 
this isn't going too well so far, is it? Hopefully, we might be able to make up another position at the end of the mountain straight. Have we got the balls to break light? No, we haven't. Uh, we've sort of broken about the same time as the AI. Are we going to hook it around the outside? What a move that would be. What a move. Up into P12. We need more of that. And maybe slip it up the inside. No, because they're going ridiculously slowly. But uh, maybe get the cut back. Is that going to work? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, we're just... Are we, I don't think we're going to be able to take it flat through here. But we seem to be quicker than the AI in this uphill section. Or at least I gauged that from the one qualifying lap I did. Um, but hopefully we might be able to make up some more positions. And he's broken in a ridiculous position there. Once again. And, um, well, are we just going to dive it up the inside? What, you know, why not? The AI have shown me no respect. So why should I show them respect? Uh, okay, I couldn't get past. That's, that's kind of awkward. And this uphill section is just so difficult to get an overtake done. Okay, it's official. We absolutely suck in these cars. And we just cannot make up any ground on that car ahead. We're stuck in 12th position. This is, this is actually quite embarrassing. Okay, it's the end of lap three, and we still have made up no ground whatsoever. I'm pretty sure we've just gone quicker than our qualifying time. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of embarrassing once again. Uh, the, the, the story of this episode has pretty much just been, we've been embarrassed big time. Uh, so, yeah, we've got some work to do for this next episode for sure. As much as I suck at this track, I absolutely love this uphill section at Bathurst. I mean, these, these corners are the best, where you can take them in sort of fourth gear, just sort of chuck them into the corner, and it is so, so rewarding. It really is. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I'm making up a lot of time on the AI as well, which sort of <laughs> helps me, I guess. But uh, it's just a pretty beautiful section of uphill track. And uh, yeah, really, really rewarding to drive in these cars, no matter how much I may suck at them. Well, this is boring. We've literally not got a car three seconds either side of us. And we've only we've only done three laps. I mean, it really doesn't get much more boring than this. Yep, don't mind me, just on my Sunday drive. Just absolutely nothing to see here. And, well, there, there's literally is nothing to see because I can't see any cars anywhere. This is just, I don't even know. You know what, we may be 12th at the moment, but an achievement for me is just not stuffing it in the barriers. I mean, come on. I can't believe I've actually managed to go four laps without actually stuffing it in the barriers once. What? What's wrong with the car? It's just come up mechanical fault. I, I genuinely don't know what's wrong with the car at all. Is this what's been hindering us all day or what? I don't even know. Oh, what? Where, where, where the hell did that come from? How, how did your engine blow? I don't know what we've done that's so wrong. Well, this is fun. Doing, what, 20 miles an hour on the uphill section at Bathurst? This is the life. Oh, God. Okay, we've stopped. Well, that episode went well for sure. Uh, well, <laughs> that was not successful in the slightest. Uh, I quite enjoyed driving around Bathurst, that's for sure. Might as well just skip to the end of the session. Uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I enjoyed driving Bathurst, just maybe not in these cars, but we're going to have to drive them again. They'll go into the pot for the next episode. Uh, yeah, let's find out what we'll be driving in the next episode. I hope you guys did sort of enjoy that race. I know there's probably been a lot of rage in there, but uh, yeah, let's see what we'll be driving now in the next episode. Right then, so after that, quite frankly, shambolic performance in the prototype cars. We have our first re-entry to the car part. Yes, the prototype car is going to have to go back into the green part and it is ready for selection. Uh, last time out, uh, I asked you guys whether I'd missed any off, and I had, because I'm an absolute noob. Uh, I'd missed off stock cars and the classic cars. Uh, there are some classic Formula One cars, so you've got like the... There's quite a lot of old Lotuses in there. So I've added that into the pot as well, so if I get classic or uh, stock cars, and those are ones that are new from last episode. So they're all in here, and uh, let's see what we're going to be driving next time out. Right then, so let's pick the car. Obviously, they're all in here. And uh, make sure to leave a comment down below whether you want me to do one or two races next time out. Uh, this will be for the first race, and obviously if you guys want me to do a second, then that uh, then I'll do another selection during next episode. But here we go. And we have got 
The 125 shifter carts, 125cc shifter carts, yet to drive them on the game. A lot of people said they're absolutely shambolic to drive, just like my driving, so uh, probably go hand in hand. So, yep. Right then, so as we pick the shifter carts, you guys probably know that there are four karting tracks on the game. Plus, there is one at the Dubai Autodrome. So I've put all of these in here, and also I had a comment last time out saying, Can you imagine driving the carts around the Nordschleife? Yeah, you know what I've put in here. I've put the Nordschleife in here. So if we pick that, it's going to be about, what, 10 minutes probably to drive a cart around there. If we pick that, I will rage so much. But anyway, we'll give it a good shake, and we'll pick out the first one that we get. And here it is. It isn't the Nordschleife, but it is Glen Cairn. So we're going to be driving the 125cc shifter carts around Glen Cairn next time. If you did enjoy today's episode, then make sure to leave a like. Uh, down below and also leave a comment make sure to uh, say whether you want me to do one or two races next time out as well as saying what you think of the series so far maybe if you want me to add anything else to the series but uh, yeah I hope you guys did enjoy my painful driving this episode I'll see you next time take care bye bye